but you've shared about your first marriage in the public before. You talk oh, about dealing yes. with domestic violence yes. in that marriage. Um, so how that happened, I went for an interview for a film. Yeah. It was um, Judith Aldo's Stormy Hearts. All right. And it was romance related. Mm. Like I said, at that time, I was very green. Mm. I didn't know how to avoid questions in the interview or divert or lie with sense. <laughs> So <laughs> I was so all about honesty at that time. Yeah. So they asked me about love and relationship or something. Yeah. And I said, ah, one relationship nearly killed me or mm. blah, blah, blah. I was just talking freely with this, uh, was it a lady or so? I was just talking that, ah, oh, my relationship. Anyway, Sha, the person is my ex-husband, so I'm done with it. So I said it carelessly. So right. I was like, ah, I'm done with that anyway. Let's get back to the film right. interview. Right. My brother, yeah. do you know that this media, how these people, they left the film Everything I said about that film, they leave them. They can't say marriage, blah, 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 blah. They now crafted it and, ah, ah, even myself, I shock. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing I know here. Yeah. Huh? Because I didn't want all those things. Nobody knew I had mine before until right. that time. Nobody knew anything. Uh... Ah! You know, I'm a very emotional person. Mm. I shed it, a few tears and while I was talking. So I said, hey, I'm cheating. I beg the, the attention on this story. Because the person now tried to keep asking me more about it. And I kept hitting on the, on the movie. Yeah. Let's talk about the movie. It's coming out in the cinemas. So I said, uh, the way they were talking about it, I beg, they should remove this thing from... She's like, oh, don't worry, don't worry. She'll tell them. You know, that. Me, I still told the owner of the um, media. media. Hmm. I beg, oh, please, this thing was... Ah, no, don't worry. We know how we do it. AT, AT controversy sales. Don't worry, I will teach you all the controversy. I was like, no, no, just... I know, yeah, thank you, sir, but can you just help me? Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. That same don't worry. Anybody will tell me don't worry for this life again. That same don't worry. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. And then I saw correct expose. <laughs> this guy now called me or reached out to me in some way. I can't remember. Who? The our uncle, our right. brother in, in Christ. He called and shout to me that me, I'm doing an interview on this day. I said, hello, you're not even that important. This is what happened, this is what happened, and I will try my best to take it down. Right. So he started like threatening me, like, oh, you want to be my career, blah, 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 you want to do this, because you, his name was not mentioned. Because mm -hmm. it wasn't even about him, I was just talking about my past relationship. Yeah. Unfortunately, straight bullets come hit him. So he, like, he was talking about people that know that he, Mm. Is my ex-husband. People mm. like people in his um, industry and mm. our families and friends and all that. Ah, everybody will now know what happened. Because I never told anybody what happened. Mm. I just ran for my dear life. And there's some of my family members that didn't even know that the marriage had ended until that or until like years later. Yeah. So I'm not that kind of person that when we break up or something, I would not tell the whole world. I like my peace and my own privacy. So I told him, no, 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 it's not intentional. You can see that your name is not even there. So if I wanted to talk about you, I would talk where you know me before now. My mouth is not good. So I was like, don't worry, don't worry. He said, ah, no, I should better do something. I should come out and write and that I, I just said those things because I'm a bitter ex and ah. this and that. I said, as in, I should put myself under the bus for you. Like, so when it was getting too much, when the threats were getting too much, I had to now cry out on Instagram. So some people reached out to me, um, a few people that I can't remember, but I remember Missy Johnson reached out to me because she has a very strong military background. And she was like, oh, she's going to um, forward the case to the CNS, the uh, chief of another staff. Long story short, someone from Abuja, from the HQ, reached out to me that they are now on the case and this person will not bother you anymore.